Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're Stephanie Gamer here, and we're about to do something that I've never done before, guys. And I don't really get to say that too much about Soul Hunters, but today we are about to unlock Nightshade Mythical Artifact here, guys. And I'm pretty excited about this one because it sounds really, really cool. And uh, here's what we gotta do we're gonna go into the hell, the hell hole. Oh, and if you're struggling with this, you can try out this team, but you might not have these characters. So what are we going to do? We're going to switch it up. First of all, we need Nightshade. So, where is she? Okay, boom. Nightshade in, and you know what? I'm just going to leave the rest. Because I don't want to make it hard on myself. I want to make it easy. I want to make life easy. You know what I mean? Don't make life hard. Life doesn't have to be harder than it has to be. I mean, this is actually too easy. Because I... What is happening? See? No hands. I can just auto fight this. So easy. A caveman can do it, as Geico once said. Alright. That was quick and easy. Let's go ahead now. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Well, it's not over yet. We have to sweep. Let's just finish the sweeping here. Alright, let's sweep it up. And last one. Five sweeps right there. Let's go back, take a look at what we got to do next, guys. All right, so this is my actual awakening, as you guys already know. This is the second awakening. Yo! Alrighty then. So, for the final trial to acquire the mythical artifact, she must actually pass this challenge. And if you've never done a mythical artifact before, guys, take a look at how it works. Why the hell is Flora unavailable? Hmm... That ain't good. Because I think healing is not... Yeah, see? No, that doesn't make any sense. A lot of heroes are not available here. That's kind of strange. You know what? I'm not sure why. Yeah, I think it's healing. Even as a secondary ability. No, that doesn't make any sense. Valko doesn't have much healing. Wow, that's so strange. Alright, but either way, let's go ahead. And let's use up some more better heroes here. Better, much better. Let's scroll down. So this one requires you to put in a bunch of your top heroes, guys. Your goal here is going to be pretty much protect Nightshade as much as possible. Hmm. Now normally, I don't really go with much support here. I literally just go all out DPS. Let's go you, i Mog, and why not you? And it needs a lot of heroes. This is not easy. Once you get to this point of the game, it gets difficult. You need a lot of really, really top tier heroes here. Let's do YouTube. All right, that's it. All right, so let's fast forward this now. You can go into fast forward. So what you got to wait for now is that bar. Once that timer reaches that bar, you can place another hero there on the battlefield. And then the, the hero will automatically go into their ultimate. And then you're defending... You see, Nightshade does not move from there. So Nightshade will always remain there. And it's up to your other heroes to kind of, you know, protect them. Protect her, I mean. But it's simple at this point of the game for me. Because like you said, I'm a lot further into the game. But I can imagine if you're climbing up the levels. And you know what I mean? You're... Not early, obviously, this doesn't unlock until you're very, very late into the game. Definitely, I think, a level 100. You gotta be orange. I'm pretty sure you gotta be orange, maybe plus 2. I don't know exactly, exactly when it starts. But you must have a hero, first of all, you must have a hero awaken first. That I already know. So this is their second awakening. But, it is difficult. You need a bunch of other heroes that are better than that hero. And by the time we're done with this, we might actually have all of our heroes on the battlefield. Maybe not. Nope, we finished it. We finished it even ahead of time here. So that's pretty good. Still three heroes remaining. And damage output. It doesn't really show you everybody anyway. So let's go ahead. Let's go back. And that's it. Complete. Second awakening. Nightshade. Let's take a look at what actually happens to her. Nothing. I'm pretty sure that's not a change. I might have rewatched this again, but I didn't see. Normally, they don't change 
I think that's how it was even before. Hmm. Going to... So I've got the skin on her, obviously, so you can't even take a look. But if you take the skin off, that's how she was before. Nothing changed with the card. Yeah, it's the same card. So the second awakening doesn't change anything. We already know that. I like that skin on her. I like the all white. That's just me. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, let's go ahead and break down the ability that we just unlocked. Because um, it's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. When Nightshade unleashes a cunning flank or the first time... Uh, health drops below 40%. He will receive divine power. Oh my god. They still haven't fixed this. Uh, we have already went through this guys. We're pretty sure that Nightshade is a female. We just literally did the female dojo. But the wording says. He will receive divine power. To protect him against magic damage. And most control abilities for 5 seconds. So we just found out that Nightshade is a he she. Alright, so at this point, Divinity extends to 10.6 seconds. Very nice. For 10 seconds. When this girl unleashes her cunning flank, which is, we already know, it's her ultimate. Or the first time Hell drops below 40%. She will receive Divine Power to protect him against magic damage and most control abilities. But it doesn't say anything about physical damage. So obviously it's still not the best. Because physical damage can still reach him. <laughs> now let's take a look at what else I can work on him. We've got this. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed him this. Give him pretty much as much as I can. I can take him 7 stars here. Boom. Alright, maxed out. Oh my god, I can give him all that good stuff. I'm not going to do it just yet. Wait a minute, I just used 40 ability points. How do I have 70 left? Or uh, 80 left. That's a glitch, I think. Uh, Alright, we got a lot of those. Only 3 of those, whatever. I'm going to give him all this good stuff now, guys. Because I'm planning on using Nightshade right now in the arena. Just to test her out. Oh, missing one there. We'll go back on that later. But... I'm missing so many, I mean, I don't want to give her all these items because I'm saving them for a special occasion. For now, she's not the hero that I'm really currently working on. So we're going to wait on that. Ruins, I don't have any ruins right now on her. So let's just give her anything I got, even purple ones. Energy efficiency, I'll give her something. Physical crit, yep, that's fine. Alright, so no items on her at all. Nothing else. Let's go take a look in the arena and see what she can do. Alright guys, so here's a typical arena match for me here. I use up everybody except Nightshade usually, so let's take a look if she can survive. I mean, uh, she's got to use that Cunning Flank or her HP's got to go below 40% for this to work. But it will neglect all magic attacks here. No! Damn you, Haruk, you piece of doo-doo! Oh, there he goes. Alright, so she's on the side now. She's just literally going crazy at whoever she can find. She's still alive, which is pretty impressive because everybody else is dead. But magic attacks are not really working on her because she's in her divinity stage. But she's going to die here. There's no way she can survive. It's her. Oh my god, it's two on two. Jasper and Ursula versus... Oh, she's dead. She just left her divinity. Oh, no. I think... Ur oh, come on, Volan. Volan can actually take out Ursula here. Boom. Ursula is dead, but he will not be able to take out Jasper in time. Because Jasper's dodge is insanely good. And the timer's going to run out, I think. Holy moly! What just happened? How the hell did that happen? I can't believe... I don't even know what the hell happened. But Valon came in clutch. Wow, I'm glad I was recording that, guys. Because that was pretty sweet. I can't believe Valon actually did it. <laughs> wow! Actually, let's go ahead. Let's try something else here. Let's just do... I don't even know who to do, but let's do this team here. I want to see this one more time with Nightshade. I'm impressed, very impressed with how long she survived. The damage wasn't that great, but then again, I don't have any items on her, so don't forget. Alright, so here, she's in her divinity mode there, which you can see she's golden, which means she can't be touched by magic abilities. So this, boom, didn't affect her at all. Whoa! Okay, okay, I like it. I like it a lot. 
All right, so damage output is not the best, but she's not affected by any magic abilities, any magic attack or control abilities while she's in that golden state, which is sick. Hmm. Because all she really needs to do is pretty much take out one or two guys when she goes into that crazy power. And if I get her at red plus two fully equipped, I like the potential there. I really do, guys. I think that she could be something special for the arena. Or possibly for her raids. But this ability is mostly an arena ability. I mean, think about it. How effective can it be protecting her in raids? Because most of the time, heroes don't die in the raids anyway. So, I love this new awakening for her. Her second awakening is pretty awesome. And I can't wait to test her out a little bit more. So, that's pretty much it for now. Hope you guys enjoy Nightshade. She seems pretty cool. And I'll let you guys know exactly how she does when I get her to red plus two. Alright. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night everybody. Peace out.